So, I finally got you to respond, Judah. And I watched that video from beginning to end. And all it is is a bunch of blah, blah, blah. Do you want to know what the difference between me and you, Judah, is I actually bring something to YouTube? What do you bring? Matter of fact, don't answer that question. What do you bring to this Bears community that's inspirational and intelligent? Instead of bashing Justin Fields every second you get and every content creator because they disagree with you. Talking about, oh, you're going to have to learn that people can disagree. You could have mentioned that and not be a complete ass wipe about it. See, the difference between me and you, Judah, is I have the balls to say what no one has the balls to say about you. And guess what? Saying that I owe Virginia McCaskey an apology. And um, people will be at her funeral when she dies. If people want to choose to attend her funeral when she dies, when she's been doing nothing but giving the Bears mediocrity and disappointing nothing but her father, if people want to go waste their time, someone who only cares about themselves instead of caring about the fans, if people want to waste their time mourning and crying over somebody who didn't give a shit about them anyway. If people wanted to do that, then be my guess. And guess what, Judah? You bringing up my 80-year-old... No one needs to bring up my 80-year-old grandpa. And if you ever said that in my face, I will fucking knock your rotten tooth out. And I mean that for shit. I will fucking strangle you until you can't breathe anymore. And guess what? I had that that interview with, with Keith on the mic. That was not my first time I interviewed Keith on the mic. I interviewed Keith on the mic for almost an hour the last time I had him. He has a kid. Have you had a kid, Judah? No. So shut the fuck up, Judah. And you want to say God's mistake is making me and God hates me. No. God has made many mistakes. And you are one of them. You are one of the mistakes that he made. He raised you to be... He, no, no, no. You raised yourself to be an Uncle Tom and hate your own people. And I mean that. You are a Uncle Tom and you hate your own people because every time you bash a somebody, they're either... They are black. You hate your own people. And then when... Like, you name called them. You called them fucking monkeys. Didn't think i see that, did you, where you called Justin Fields a monkey? Have to be a racist, Judah. And against your own people. You wish you was white. You wish you was my color. You hate God because God didn't make you white. He made you black. Just accept you being a black person and shut the fuck up. What? You don't like the fact that you're that you are a black person? You wish he was white? What? You hope to God be like, God, why did you make me so black? I want I want to I wanted to be white. That's you. You don't you can't stand the fact looking yourself in the mirror. And you see, don't and you say, God, why did you make me so black? Why couldn't you make me white? You're the reason why the Bears continue to go down the cycle that they are. And I guarantee you, I cannot a part of me um does not want to care about what the Chicago Bears do because fans like you are the reason why they go down that world, uh, the world that they're gonna go on right now. That's what you're doing. And yes, I may take pills, Judah. I take pills for a reason, Judah. I seeked help when I was at a dark stage in my life. You can't even see a therapist or God 
to cope with the fact that you are not white. You're black. Accept your skin color for what it is, Judah. That's why you have to be an Uncle Tom to your own race. And that's why I am the voice of the voiceless. Judah, I will kick you in the balls and you'll smile at me and like it. And show me some respect. And the day until you leave YouTube, until I see a notification that you ain't on YouTube anymore, I will continue to go at you. What, you think that video was going to make me stop? Oh, no, 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 no. It's only the beginning, Judah. And I will not stop until I have won this petty little civil war that you have started. And I don't care who is in my way. I will get through you and I will get through anyone that's in my way. You want to bash Justin Fields and mess with his family? You And you praise people like Tyson Bajan and Mitch Trubisky. They're white. White people. And you bash on Justin Fields and Caleb Williams because they're not... Because they're not your skin color? Because they're uh, not white? That you wish you were white? God, why wouldn't you make me white? Why did you have to make me black? Why did you have to make me so black? I want to be white, God. I want to be white. I don't owe Virginia McCaskey an apology. When you die, Judah, no one's going to miss you, Judah, except these white folks who you praise. And all you Chicago Bears fans that follow Judah, you're the biggest reason why this, why everybody laughs at us, why we're called a poverty franchise. You're the biggest reason why we are the laughing stock of the National Football League. And I don't care about, oh, we're the charter franchise. We're the reason the NFL started. Well, guess what? What have we done since we've been established? Won one Super Bowl and that was it? Half y'all weren't even born back then. And want to bring up NFL championships like they fucking matter? And every three to four years, we are discussing a new quarterback. <clears throat> People like y'all are the reason why <clears throat> if Justin Fields leaves, I am no longer going to give a shit about the Chicago Bears. Because I am sick and tired of every three years, new quarterback, new quarterback. When do we address the team? You fans are the reason we're the laughing stock. And Ghost of Judah is in a prime example why we're a laughing stock. If he has any integrity, he get the fuck off of YouTube. I don't care who gets in my way. I don't, I'm not here to make friends. I'm here to make subscribers. Am I, am I a bad guy, Judah? Absolutely. And I will not stop until the day you're off YouTube and I win the Civil War. You wanted to start this petty little Civil War, and now I'm going to finish it. And people want to say that this is pathetic? Well, excuse me. Excuse me for not wanting to think that we're the damn laughing stock of the NFL. Because people like him, every fucking year, make a joke and a mockery out of to the Chicago Bears fan base. And he is the biggest reason why I will not give a shit about the Bears if they choose to listen to this fucking moron and his little cult of followers, which I'm even – most of – Judah, let's be honest. Most of your followers are white boys that, that are clearly dumb and retarded. 
You may have had all the white people fooled, but you ain't getting this person fooled. That's your army, a bunch of fucking white folks that, that you cuddled to. And they're like, oh, we, oh my God, they, he treats us so well. He treats us like a guy. You know, he wished he was white. Well, guess what, Judah? As a white as a white person, I do not accept you in our community. Why don't just because you hate yourself for being uh black, just, just accept who you are and shut the fuck up and get out of our fan base. And the reason why I can't stand you is because of the fact that people like you think laugh at our fan base. And until I win the Civil War and I see you off of YouTube, I will continue to bash you, Judah. Fuck you, Judah, and fuck everybody that loves you. God's biggest mistake was having you. And this is for the greater good of the Chicago Bears community. I'm am I a fucking bad guy? Absolutely. But I can't stand people like you. You frustrate me, Judah. Every time I hear your voice, I want to fucking choke you out. And you and anyone else, I will I will end Judah and I will get through anybody that gets in my way. You're either with me or against me. And that's my final stance on this, Judah.